ya. What's that? What's that? Song? I thought if you said I added this to the grammar, I got to you, but I know we are like that. That's what? It's because all these things. Yeah. Added up to a 20. How did they add up to a 20? Hi guys, I'm Daddy Freeze, convener of the Free the Sheeple Movement and leader of the Free Nation in Christ. I greet you and I bring glad tidings. Um, still on the TB Joshua matter, Idris Abdul Karim has weighed in. And um, I'm not going to be talking much. I want to hear your opinions. Um, Idris Abdul Karim came from the fact that the BBC does not have the justification to uh, scrutinize TB Joshua. What are your thoughts? If you're watching on TikTok, double click the screen, double click the screen. Right now, tap, tap, tap away if you're watching on TikTok. Let, let, let's get more people in the house. This is how you tap on TikTok for those of you who don't know how to tap. You see my finger? Let me see you do that. Let me see you do that. Let me see. If your fingers are not hurting you, you're not doing it right. If your fingers are not hurting you on TikTok, you're not doing it right yet. If you're watching on YouTube, Super Chat, Super Stickers, Super Likes, we're in the building. So I, I want to hear your opinions. It's not just going to be Daddy Freeze sharing his opinion. This is going to be you all. Come back here. You all. Have you done it? You finished everything. Sit down there and finish it. Now. And I'll be looking at it because they'll be talking. So don't worry. Well, if you have any questions, just bring it. Raymond from Timishwara. That's all the way in Romania. How are you doing? Double click the screen. Follow my number one gifter if you're watching on TikTok. Be my number one gifter so people can follow you. Follow my number one gifter. Be my number one gifter. Now, let me read what... Idris Abdul Karim said. Until BBC releases a documentary on the atrocities committed by Britain on African soil, only then will they have the moral justification to condemn any African man. That is... Or those are the thoughts of Idris Abdul Karim. Do you agree with him or do you disagree with him? Uh, what side of the divide are you on? I'm going to stay as neutral as possible so I can have a healthy conversation right here. Um, first of all, if you watch my last uh, live podcast, whatever it is you want to call, uh, I spoke about my experience with nigerian pastors and if i were to judge tb joshua is one of the nicest pastors compared to your jews who were ready to drown me in a cup of water just to make sure i did not affect their tithing you understand uh tb joshua personally never tried to attack me never your jews did they prayed and prayed it didn't work they now started looking for physical ways to get to me so, but 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 like i said I'm not going to be a part of this conversation. This conversation is open to you guys who are in the comment section. I'm, I'm just going to keep it as open as possible. Uh, so, someone said, Kemi is the only reasonable investigative journalist in Nigeria. Where is Auntie Kemi? Haven't seen her in a minute. Unbounded is popping away those roses. Thank you so much. We've got Don Fiesta in the building. Don Fiesta, how are you doing? Can somebody tag Idris? Let's hear from Idris. My only problem with Idris is say, go come here. Everywhere will come be like fight. But if you tag him. Hello, Daddy Freeze. How are you doing, Don Fiesta? I'm good. Thank you very much. Mm. Um, first of all, I saw the full, uh, the entire three episodes of mm. this particular report and for a moment, I felt really bad that first, as a Nigerian, I felt that was a very, very bad, uh, you know, representation of we 
Nigerians because we could actually want to isolate uh, TB Joshua in this case, but trust me, whether you like it or not, it has some negative impact on our identity and our reputation as the people and as uh, Nigerians. So I felt that kind of, uh, I had that kind of feeling that wasn't really good uh, because I'm Nigerian, especially living in diaspora. Then talking about my opinion on this, I think that, to be honest, we saw more of reports than evidences. Hmm. It was reports. Hmm. And there is, I think it wasn't a balanced report. From a journalist perspective, I've been a journalist for over 20 years, and I'll tell you this for free, that report was just hanging in the air. What about other people? There has to be other people to balance that report. Now, I'm not discrediting what those people said. I'm not saying they were right or they were wrong or they were true or false. But what I'm saying is, in journalism, you have to balance your report. If you are speaking from those who are presenting their cases as affected by his activities, there should be other people who would be able to corroborate those stories, who will be able to say one thing or the other about this same man. Hmm. You know, especially when he's not alive to defend himself. Hmm. I think it's more of a social crucifixion. When hmm. somebody says, do something and it's fill your lips and say your family members and your friends should not talk. It's just you and your lips are sealed. What can you do in that situation? So there is no clear court evidence. That does not mean it did not happen. Don't get me wrong. That's not what I'm saying here. What I'm saying here is that, there are, as they say, there are two sides to a story. If they're making a report about TB Joshua, let certain people say, oh, they did these bad, bad things to them. And let other people also say he did these social so good things to them. And let people be able to make their judgments from mm. balance of those reports. In this case, it wasn't a balanced report. Trust me. It wasn't a balanced report. And I also feel like that uh, because some of the people that were affected by his activities in court were British, you can understand the bias from BBC. I am not saying that BBC cannot report and whatever, do other stuff and play their role as a, as a media organization. But I feel like there's a level of bias and trying to get back to uh, the deceased pastor because these certain people were affected because they stood up to speak. And then again, if this case was even taken to court, if this case was taken to court, there should have been some reports. I don't know if there were reports uh, to the police or maybe he bought it over or he covered up the story, the police covered up the story, but these were clear court criminal accusations. Rape is completely, sorry, forcing somebody to do yeah, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's completely, you know, it's not legal. So definitely, now, nah, it's not a, it's not, they have to go to the police and they file a report or whatever. I don't know if that was presented. I feel like if there were documents like police reports, photocopy of reports that were filed, and they showed it to us in those reports to say that this is what, uh, this is a copy of the report, this is a, these are pictures, these are evidences, apart from verbal narration, I feel like more than it might be true, I feel like from the media perspective, from the journalistic perspective, it is not really a balanced report. With mm. more information, with more documentation, even some people on social media, when they report, they will post receipts, they will post chats, they will post text messages, so that you know that what they are, what they are saying verbally, you can collaborate it with whatever they are showing you visually. We didn't see much of visual documentation of those reports. I didn't see much of that. I only mm. saw verbal reports, and it could be it could be credible. 
don't get me wrong, they could be very, very credible. But I think they should have another perspective where people can go into maybe to a website and see some of these evidences, some of these documentation that people can actually use. Oh, indeed, this happened. Indeed, they, they presented this story, uh, these cases to the police and all of that. Right now, we are going to be judging based on what they said against what they did not say. What we want to believe against what we don't want to believe is just mere report. <laughs> So we've got Ify here all the way from Canada. Ify, what is your take? Good morning, Daddy Freeze. Oh, good, good morning, evening. my wonderful sister. How are you doing? I'm fine, Daddy Freeze. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. What is your good take? Morning, yeah, so um, I just want to quickly point out that um, if you watch the documentary like really closely, you would see that there was a place where BBC said they reached out to the lead to the current leadership of um, the Synagogue Church of All Nations, you know, to provide a comment on these allegations. And their response, if I remember correctly, was that this is not the first time that such allegations have been leveled against um, Prophet TB Joshua. So regarding the um, the the report or the documentary being um, balanced. I think for them to reach out to the Synagogue Church of All Nations, if they had something to say in rebuttal, that would have been a very good time to say it or to, you know, put their own evidence forward. So the fact that they are, they are, they are preferring to be tight-lipped about it might also mean that they are aware of um, these things that happened. And besides, like, I don't know why we're all acting like it's a new thing. Like, these things have been there for a while. Everyone has known, like, or the majority of people have known from time that there's, there's something, like, there's always been something about the Synagogue Church of All Nations. And most of these people who came out to talk are people who were, like, in the high echelon of his leadership, people who were really close to him. And I find it very troubling and hard that all these people would, you know, because when you watch these interviews, I do not believe that it happened the same day. I do not believe they happened in the same place and time. So for all these women to have a similar story, it, it, it looks more real. Like, I, I, I feel like anybody can come out and give a defense, but for all these people to come and, you know, one, each person was corroborating the story of the other person. Of course, it's hearsay, but what we talk ask about, a like, question. Um, as a lawyer, don't mm -hmm. you think the BBC could be sued for that piece? Is it not defamatory sued, unless they have evidence? I'm just asking. They could be, they could be sued, right? But um, the testimony of these women who would come out and say, this happened to me, this happened to... You know, when more than one person is saying, this happened to me, this happened to me, and they have similar stories, they might have evidence, I, I think to a large extent. To a large extent, um, it would weigh heavily on the mind of a judge. That's what I think. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Um, we've got another gentleman in the building. What are your thoughts? <sighs> well, man, I don't know. Because I don't like to talk down with people. So, I actually watch a documentary, but I don't have anything to say about it. But I just be like, just have to be more careful about people and I mean, that's all I have to say. All right, bro. All right, bro. Uh, 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 thank you so much. Since you did not watch it, I want only people that watch the documentary. So, no vex, my brother. Let me bring in other people who actually took their time to watch the documentary. If you're watching on TikTok, double click the screen. Uh, follow my number one gifter. Let me see who's going to be my, my first money gone popper. We want to have a fair and square scenario here where people can speak to uh, for or against the interview so thank you dear brother god bless you please help me exit so i go bring another person in 
that that the freeze. Let me quickly add this quickly. Um, I want you to take uh, the case of PDD, for example. Yeah. Do you know that the lady who accused him recently? Do you know why they quickly settled out of court? Why? The reason why they settled out of court is because she leveled the accusation not only on PDD as an individual, but on his organization, mm -hmm. on the company, because signed under his label, she is an employee of Bad Boy Records. So because she's an employee of Bad Boy Records, anything that happened under PDD's watch, she has the right to sue the company and then sue the industry. I'm talking about answering the case uh, for the church. Even after uh, TV Joshua had left, I felt in my heart when I was watching that video that this guy is not here to defend himself, but he is the founder of an organization, the no. church. The I church know that like... American law and Nigerian law are two different things. Mm. If you, what do you think of that? You're a lawyer. Of course, um, the, there are two juris, there are two different legal jurisdictions, so you can, you know, transport a law in the U.S. to Nigeria. But even if you were to use what you were saying, it means that those girls can actually still sue, um, um, the church, the synagogue church of all nations. Exactly what I was saying. Yes. Because and and again, he, those were unpaid labor. Like you used people. They worked for you for no amount, you for no um remuneration. No contracts, or but they chose no to. Contract. Mm. That that the phrase. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. But there was no legal, legal, there was no legal agreement. Are you a lawyer? Oh no, I'm not. A, I'm not a lawyer. Okay. But I watch the documentary. Uh, I'm an IT professional. Okay. So I want to give my input. Mm. After watching that documentary, I'm not going to be biased. Like everything you've always preached about, hmm. we should be able to identify the God we serve. Hmm. And we can we can identify the God we serve when we are matured and we have experience about life. Hmm. Looking at those documentaries, we, we can classify these people that are being manipulated. Look at their age. Hmm. From teen, they were not adults, most of the people talking. And the adults talking on that documentary, most of them we're supporting and worshiping um because of poverty. There's two things that is a disaster in a country. When there is a country that is too much poverty in the land, and, you, and in that same land there is no there is no law. Even when you want to voice out, a lot of people are ready to shut you up because of what they are eating or what they are benefiting from. Hmm. So most of those people that were affected were teenagers that can be easily brainwashed. Let's 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 not talk about churches. Let's talk about even universities in Nigeria. Gone are those days when we were in school. You see some lecturers, and you'll be like, "Let me just die." Some lecturers will tell you, "If I don't sleep with you, you'll fail." Hmm. So place of the man of God, where people think this person is acting like Jesus Christ. Hmm. And one thing I notice about him, I'm not judging him, may he so continue to rest in peace, but I will say that I agree. 90% I'm supporting everybody that came out, especially those that were teenagers when they found themselves in that church. And the video that will convince you was when that white lady was trying to run out of Synagogue Church and she was telling the driver, move, move, move. And the policemen were there with their guns. If she was not scared of that shot, if nothing was happening there, why would she be telling that taxi driver to say, please go, 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 go? Mm. If she was enjoying, if she was benefiting, if they were seeing the real miracles, she would not run out of that building. That video was not doctored. If you look at it, you will see that these videos were past years videos. Mm. For, for once in Nigeria, we should please encourage the young ones by encouraging them to come out and speak. And when people are speaking, we should not cast them. We should not judge them because that same pastor is manipulating and presenting himself as a nice person. Hmm. Hmm. Because when these things start, it will still happen and it's still happening in Nigeria. 
I am uh, my younger sister is a living testimony. I, I used to jump as the, the daddy freeze video whereby my mom is somebody, our parent, Nigerian parent generally, the way they worship pastors. But I'm grateful that they are seeing things clearly now. Mm. If we don't go to church at that time, we are in trouble. If we don't go and tell those pastors two our problem. I take two types of advice I don't take from my parents financial advice and religious advice. We are in trouble. Then my younger sister Any was. Other um, advice, I'll listen. I don't know if there was an admission issue that time. And my mom would say, Go and meet that pastor. That meant she told my mom when she got married, like two, three years ago. She opened up to my mom. The pastor, Lord Bering, Pastor, she said, Hey! I'm not lying. Go and meet him. Go and Pastor, when we were talking day. then, especially me, nobody likes me in the family because Sorry, I'm always you attacking. don't understand. Don't feel I'm like always attacking. Trust me, of God. Huh? Trust me, Daddy Fish. No, 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 no need, no need, no need. We community guys. You know, <laughs> when you start, when you sit up, you know, your name of God, and you want to speak, and you are attacking them, parents will shun you down. Societies will shun you down. Especially people that are benefiting you from see, this thing. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Toby Adeboega, Pastor Toby, said one thing one day, and I always this thing always comes to my mind. He said one guy get ear problem, the ear they worry him. He can't go to church. See me, they pray for him. They come pour anointing oil inside his ear. In ear, he can't finally deaf. I sit down like this. Pastor Toby sit down like this. Where did they tell us the story? You know what thing Pastor Toby talk? He said very good. Say, so he no need the ear. Say, so what thing they use the ear here? It no be the nonsense where he hear with the half of the ear where he get carry and go to church where they take come out the whole year. So what thing he need ear for? Daddy Fleas, they talk, 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 talk. They no hear. They can't use their two leg. Waka go collect anointing oil inside their ear. Today that, is death that and is crying. Yeah, Daddy Fleas, let, let me give you an insight again. That is a pastor. They said... Especially if you are fair in Nigeria, if you grow up in Nigeria and you have a light skin and you fall sick, they don't want to know your blood group. They don't want to know your genotype. They don't want to know what the reason why you're being sick. They already say, Emereni, Olegbeni, Ofek Padani. Now they take you to that pastor and this pastor brings love in there. I don't know if anybody understands what love I don't know the English mm -hmm. of love in there. Lavender. Please. Yeah, they will bring you with olive oil. They will mix it together and give you in a full cup. They will tell you to drink it. My sister, if you drink too much Ororo, naturally you will throw up. And when you start throwing your blood, for me, it's aching okay. you. They will say that's the evil spirit you are throwing up. Damaging people's health. I'm not saying you? there's no miracle. I'm not saying C.B. Joshua did not perform any miracle. Because but if you are sick Wait. and you go to a pastor and they're praying for you, use your medication. Both work together. I'm having faith that this medication I'm using is going to heal me. Not you telling me to throw my medication away that don't worry, drink water, it will go. Yes, I have faith that the sickness will go, but I still need to use my medication. Yeah, but the question, like, just for the sake of, you know, the question is, do we actually need to perform miracles for people to believe in God? Like, Thank you! We... You see, you know, you see I, you this, know, year, this year, this year, there are no miracles. That's what we want to start with. No miracles. Yeah, miracles. Daddy Prince, and Nigerians, too, most of Nigerians, I'm so sorry, no disrespect. I mean, Nigeria, we are too gullible. I know this on the pastors are now raining on social media platform. I'm not judging them. But Nigerians yeah. like traffic. Anywhere maybe that the priest is going to, anywhere maybe a popular face, that person is going to that church. Everybody wants to go there. We. And the truth is, when there is poverty, when there is poverty and hopelessness, when there's no people are scared, people are afraid. Brother, the only thing even when there was hope, even, even when in was 1960, hope. we're already religious, we're already superstitious. Exactly. And that if it's, I'm going to say something. Somebody said denying miracles is antichrist. Hey. Jayom, let me block, let me explain to you. You see, Kogye Nimo de Mashalaye Fouen, eh? Christ, during his lifetime, was renowned for miracles. It was one of the signs of Christ. But guess what? Miracles are one of the signs of the Antichrist, too. When you don't know the difference, leave it. An ignorant man, 
That's why I tell you knowledge is so important. An ignorant man cannot tell between the miracles of Christ and the miracles of the Antichrist. So live miracles. And the Antichrist cannot show love. The Antichrist deceives. And one of its tools for deception is miracles and false miracles. So most of these, your pastors, their miracles are fake. They are the Antichrist, not Daddy Freeze that is preaching against miracles. Because my problem is, I remember when I was growing up in Romania, during the fall, we go and look for mushrooms. Mm. Baba, poisonous mushroom, where you go chop, you no go sleep. That, that night, no go meet you for this life. If they mm. put them beside the edible mushroom, you no go know the difference. Just imagine. It takes knowledge to know. We, we go just look at superficially. We'll that carry and go. Good. Go show my uncle. Now my uncle go look at and say, no. There are some mushrooms that if you carry one of those poisonous ones and drop it inside the bag, you throw away the whole bag. That's how poisonous they are. Oh. How do you know the difference between the poisonous mushrooms and the sweet, delicious mushrooms that they that they make into mushroom stew in Romania. If you eat Romanian mushroom stew, you don't go chop anything again. I think go well, Romania we, every year. They the call the mushroom the yeah, then I'll that, go That's the species of mushrooms. They, they grow in clusters and they always grow around fall. Mm. But that mushroom can't be like the one where you go chop. If you chop and finish, midnight, no go meet you for this life. You don't log out. It will kill your liver in three, four hours. Hmm. You go lock your liver completely. That the freeze, me, I even so believe that. The, the, this it is my analogy. You don't it know the that difference that between the miracles coming. of Christ and the miracles it of knew. the Antichrist. Miracles are too delicate. They are too dangerous. Run away from them. Stop looking for them. Mm. Exactly. Because you can Hold still on. Understand. This thing that I'm going, going to tell you, I'm going to back it up. Bible. I, just give me two minutes. Let me give, give these people Bible. Please go with me to Revelation chapter 13. Very quickly, all of you. Because somebody say preaching against miracles is antichrist. Oh no, Nigerian miracles are antichrist miracles. Oh, <laughs> or Sinachi, they there. They know if he heal them, but if he heal people are across the world. Why have they not healed Mr. Ebu? Why have they not raised Mobad? I ask this question over and over again. They're going to tell me nonsense. Make that I if you for say you. one thing that, 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 that you know, you know, hits close to home. When the building at the synagogue fell. Yes. Why didn't they why? raise the people work by there? Yeah. Why didn't they even foresaw the falling? Let's start. They actually said that uh, an, aircraft, an aircraft threw bomb in there and I think that was doctored. No, but his power part, should be. Should that have is been one of the pattern I was looking. When, when, if you look at this doctor. power should have been enough. Maybe Joshua would have, if he, if he was not a pastor, would have been a young woman. Hold on, so hold on. Reven, uh, Revelation, hold on. Revelation chapter 13, verse 12. He exercised all the authority of the first beast. And he required all the earth and his people to worship the first beast whose wound had been healed. He did astounding miracles. Even making fire flash down to the earth from the sky while everyone was watching. Mm. I'm going to give you at least four Bible verses to show that the Antichrist, the sign of the Antichrist is miracle. Hmm. Mm. I'm coming. Matthew 24 verse 24. I'll read from verse 23. And if anyone tells you, look, here is the Messiah, or there is the Messiah, don't believe him. For false messiahs and prophets will rise up and perform great signs and wonders so as to deceive, if possible, even God's chosen ones. How many Bible verses have I given you to show that the Antichrist is a miraculous Antichrist too? Mm. Write them down. Mm. 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 
2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 9. This man will come to do the work of Satan with counterfeit power and signs and miracles. Mm. Third scripture talking about the Antichrist. Let me give you one more. is hooking. I have to give you one more. I feel bad for the Oyibo teenagers and the... I feel for you, Daddy. But I don't feel bad I'm for the adults for that saw it and kept mute. Especially the right-hand guy. He needs to be jailed too. No, but you see, the funny thing is these are their <laughs> testimonies. You saw that. Revelation chapter 19. Sorry, Revelation chapter 19. Revelation 19 verse 20. Fought. And the beast was captured. And with him the false prophet who did mighty miracles on behalf of the beast. Miracles that deceived all who had accepted the mark of the beast. And who worshipped his statue. Both the beast and his false prophet were thrown alive into the fiery lake of burning sulfur. How many Bible verses have I given you? Four. For yeah. the, one of the signs of the Antichrist is miracles. Miracles are also one of the signs of Christ. How do you know the difference between a poisonous mushroom and a non-poisonous mm. mushroom? How do you know the difference between a venomous snake and a non-venomous snake? Knowledge. Mm. Let me ask you a question. There's one guy I follow, Adventuring. That's his name. Sit up, sit up, sit up, uncle. Adventuring, he, he goes on adventure. Next thing you just see him run inside, just go catch one snake. If you, if any of you here see snake, what you not go do? Japa. Why do you run? We're scared of the venom. Why are you scared of the venom? We don't know the. We don't know if it's pet or poison. You don't know. Yes. Why don't you people go and pick mushrooms in the bush? You don't know the right ones. You don't know the right ones. But why do you go into churches looking for miracles? Have you because trained yourself? I have the training. I can tell you for free when a miracle is real and a miracle is false. In two seconds, just show me. I'll tell you this is a false miracle like this. Ask anybody who follows me. I will tell you. Ah, mm. Two seconds like this. Because I have gone through the training, physical, endurance, spiritual, knowledge. I can tell the difference. If you can't tell the difference, just the way normal person they run from snake, run from miracle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is miracle what is what put Nigeria me. inside the mess that Nigeria is. Yes. That, let, me add let me add something. I go to an Oyibo church here, right? You know, our our brand of Christianity in Nigeria and Africa in general is quite different from what like this is why people were the ones that brought christianity to us we should remember that i'm in the fellowship and their, 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 their version of christianity is very different from the reality in africa you would hardly go to, since you've been going to church in canada how many miracles have you seen them do they play no, has laid hands to cast out evil spirits like I'm talking about the, the Orthodox churches like Catholic, Anglican. I don't know about the Pentecostal because that's, you know, a different Listen story, to what this one is saying. J. J. Yom Jackson. Telling people to forget about miracles is telling people to be lukewarm. Have you fasted for three days God. before? Be you will be looking for, things. wait, you will be looking for the dead to raise. Daddy Freeze, forget power day. Power no day anywhere. If power day, I'll be a poor man. Listen, let me break it down to you. Your deals have fasted for me for 100 days before. Nothing do me. I got richer. Yeah. There's no power anywhere. It's lies. What they exactly. did at the end of the day was they went to start doing things to mess with me. 
physically block it my walk. There's no miracle, there's no miracle in any, any way. Miracle from the true ones. It is there's no miracle. The truth is, if you well, cannot I... tell the difference, <laughs> if you mind. cannot tell the difference, run. Miracle, now I put all those people where they can't cry for TV today. Now, miracle put them for that nonsense where they Inside, do. Exactly, because they were looking for something that was... So, Jerome Jackson, get out of my life if you are still looking for miracle in 2024. You are telling me you fast for three days, you want to raise the dead. The people that fasted for 100 days, how many dead have they raised? Read which Bible? Did I not just read Bible to you? Bible that I studied, I studied New Testament in Greek. I went to sit down at the tutelage of Greek scholars, Koine Greek scholars, to learn what is in that book. What is in that book and what your pastors preach? There is no similarity at all. Yeah. Daddy Fish, I want to say something too. Um, I think... Someone said, who said Jesus fasted for me? I know very well, I can't mention their names, but I will not mention their names. I will not give them that credit. That if it's Somebody say power door off your light. No be Nigeria with day. Even when I did five star hotel, now so lights they go. Now Nigeria with day. Lights they go. They come. You come in forty five seconds. Just count it. That if it's, can I add something? Yes. So I think as a nation we need to sit down and think, because if the greatest export of Nigeria is religion, there's a problem. It's a big other problem. Nations, yeah, other nations are exporting oil. They are exporting things that you know would move mm -hmm. their economy forward and our greatest export as a country in nigeria is religion everybody in africa every pastor in africa wants to you know imbibe our type of christianity i but challenge anybody go... here who can show me a you see no need let's not argue this far mobad is they've not yet buried him mm. 200 million, first, wait, first 200 million Nigerians, half are Christian. You want to tell me that out of 105 million Christians, we don't have 20,000 people that can fast for 30 days and raise the people we don't buy? Stop we lying to yourself. There are no miracles in Nigeria anywhere. Zero exactly. miracles. Out of the last 30 celebs we buy, I tell you, you know, go read two minutes, light go come. Don't be everybody, they live for bacha. I won't worry. They won't start to they talk nonsense. And, and then again, Daddy Freeze, if um, our Christianity was actually working, Nigeria should not be the way it is. It's time for us, like, we don't need to, you know, do this back and forth. Christianity is humanity, but and there's yeah, no humanity it's time anymore. for us to go and sit down because if you, you see someone who comes to church every Sunday, says that they are, they are Christians, but in their office, they are the ones who divert the most money, right? And then we claim that we're Christians. They still pay the church sites. They still pay the church sites. Yes, the abroad, 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 like in Canada. If you see a Yibo person that tells you they are Christians, honestly, you will know. see that Christianity respected yes. in the way they live their lives, mm -hmm. right? And... I don't know why Nigerians, we say we're Christians, but everything we do is, you know, opposite. It's not everybody. No, I no, just, no, let's, let's be frank. No, I'm just saying the majority. I just think religion yeah. is just a way it's too, that, it's too Nigerians, much. that Nigerians or mm -hmm. Africans use yes. to cover up their tracks, to make them sure about yes. the evil that they do. Yeah. Because the everything you will see somebody do something bad to you they start begging you in god's name yes that is very good a, a crazy that food driver just passes your car after driving rough at the end of the day people in the the, the, the that food will say oh please now nah, for god's sake please yes, i'm begging you in god's name. That they don't believe so they use all this to cover up the evil yeah i've, I've said this is, there's poverty in the land a lot of illiterate number two and there is no law so how will it work? It can't function. It's only the smart, smart pastors that wants to eat big money. Who is ready to manipulate people because they, they know the vacuum, to fall for it. advantage of the vacuum that is provided. That is, that is Go to Facebook. Go to Facebook. A lot of prophecies. A lot of and all the It is simple. It's too much. It is it's simple. Anybody, Toba Fed, Don Agbarawo, anybody that wants to show his power. Anybody that wants to show his power, Mr. Ebu is in the hospital. 
Go and see his leg. You are telling me there's miracle, there's miracle. Show me proof of miracle. That it feels I know someone who is a tongue-speaking, Bible, you know, whatever Christian. But the highest time ever in this land, now she carry on for head. Yes, Like now. everybody basically knows that. But she stays awake every night to do NSPPD. I'm mm. going to stop at that. Like, if you say you're a Christian... Me, if you don't send don't me that thing, there. I will block you. I will first don't let us go you, there. then I will don't block let us you. Go there. Don't let us go there. If you say you're a Christian, <laughs> it should be reflecting. It should be reflective in the kind of life you live. That's that's for me. Like I have me, you. I've challenged them. They, no, nobody can do any miracle with this. Let's leave everything we are talking about. Exactly. The church I go it. to, the church I go to, nobody talks about laying hands on you for you to be. Um, pata, pata, we eat holy communion, and that's it. You know that my church. My church, we, we host, we have coffee, coffee, um, coffee, um, meet, meetings at the end of the church where we all sit down, you know, people would ask, how are you doing? How was your week? Every time they see me, they're like, oh, if you, we know you had a crazy week. How was your week? Um, how is work? You know, people just want to genuinely know how you're doing. They have to get a job. They have to change your job. They do all those things. Exactly, everyone wants and, to and, have I, and I think I think Pastor TB Joshua was successful again with all that issue then because there was no much there's no exposure at that time. Let me tell and you something. Me, I like TB Joshua. There were a lot of diseases coming out like a HIV, the, cancer is like, was like, is like a big deal in the western region at that time. Hold on. So how many beggary joints do you have in Canada? Oh, I um, in Winnipeg, there's, 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 there's quite a few here. How many? Beggary joints? You see five to ten. You will Amala see five yeah. to ten Amala joints on, from Makbo all the way down to the junction that takes you to, uh, that to junction gate. that takes you to Yemen. To gate, to gate. Ma to gate, we see 50. <laughs> yes, yes. From Makbo, okay, Makbo, to gate. In the Alamala, the Makon. Out of 50. <laughs> Why? Because there is a need. There is a need. There's there's a market. You, see, you see, you need to understand mm. that. You need to understand that. There is a need for religion in Nigeria. We have created Why? It's the opium of the masses. Now, one thing, it, one, as in, one thing religion does so successfully is it obscures cognitive reality and clarity. You cannot Daddy, think straight again. Let me take How you back can you one even of be the arguing case. with me that there is miracle in Nigeria and you cannot show me proof? Daddy, please, let me it's take like you back to one of the uh, What is her name? Ify, that I bought a car for her. And Ify said, okay, mm. can I see the picture of this car? Don't worry, if you just believe, have <laughs> believe. I have a car for you. <laughs> and Ify is saying, can I see the paperwork? Even if you don't want to show me the picture, can I see the paperwork? Mm. And I'm telling you, no, don't worry, you have a car. Just believe. Just believe. That's the equivalent the of what of what this has turned of Nigerians of into. Yes. Don't Daddy, be angry. Let me take don't you worry. back. Let me take you back to one of your preachings. I don't know. I think it's early last year you spoke about it. You said now we Nigerians we have Muslims, we have Christians. In other countries, they have Buddhists, they have other religions. Now there is no rapture. Does that mean other countries that do not know that they are not Christian or Muslim? Where are they going to? Are they going to hell? So when you preached about that, if you can remember that you preached, yes, you spoke no. about it once, I think, early last day. And I sat down and I was reasoning too. Then definitely our belief is our heart. How we lived our life on heart is sure what we Because you will see somebody that is worshipping whatever in Egypt. is living a good life. Mankind is 100% okay nice showing love and somebody that is calling herself a christian just soon in monday to, to friday mm. and he's not living half of that life that person is living does that mean that egyptian is going to go to hell somebody is saying only jesus is the way that's the beginning of your failure in I know, life but that that's what they, they sold to that's you. what they that's because your parents gave you that religion if you were born in a muslim Family, that, you will not tell you if you don't pray five times a day, you will not make heaven. If you are born so, Buddhist or Hindu, 
or Shintoist, you will be a Shintoist, Shintoist till yeah. today. Because let me tell you something. The God of the Shintoist is more effective than the God of the Christians. Don't even joke yeah. about it. Japan, they are Shintoists. They are feeding you people in Nigeria. Nobody Toyota, you like to drive. All your government officials, they, your government officials, they, they were capas innocent. They go buy Toyota. Who owns Toyota? Japan. What God did they worship? The God of the sun, Shintoism. If you look at the God of the Buddhists, you look at the God of the Shintoists, the results that the Shintoists and the Buddhists are getting is 100 times more than what you are getting. It's all failure in Nigeria. It's not, what, what, you look at Nigeria from 1960 to now. What can you that say is, Nigeria is it God because has they didn't accept Christ? Did they say Christ there the build they brought it to Nigeria? You, I, I, I watched a documentary it's once on Japan. Double. They said huh? people carry their... Hold on. I watched a documentary once on Japan. They said people carry their small, small children, three-year-old, and put on the train with strangers. And the train strangers will carry the children to school and help you drop it at the train station and where the teachers will collect in Japan. And Nigeria wants to kidnap. Eh? Want kidnap? Come on, no church. <laughs> need no church. You know, yeah, need no so called in the law in the house of in the so called house because yeah. church is not the house of God. Oh, for church and slippers. They, they kidnap the king for church for Nigeria. You won't carry your king, go put for boss. <laughs> As in, King Walo, wait till you go talk, say so you chop where you belly fool. Mm. And the I want to say two things eh? country uh, that works. When, when it comes to religion, we should also remember that most of us claim to be faithful of a particular religion because we were born into it. Yes, so what, if you were, what if you were born a Muslim? What if you were born a Buddhist? Yes, I, yes, don't they don't make sense. And so, even so to to be be re, re, they say they prison, so to to be re, picking miss for the church. <laughs> <laughs> Till today, they never find the Peking. As in, and since I don't date this Nigeria, Peking will miss for church. It go past 30. So, I church is in Nigeria before you drop Peking. Even when Nigeria I used to take my kids to church, you drop, right. when you drop your kids, you have to drop tag. You have to collect tag. If you don't bring that tag back, you will not collect your children. Mm. Church. That, in the you church. Me? That should be the safest place where everyone, you know. In your tomb, to so duplicate the tag. Yeah, you are now telling me that the Japanese will not make heaven, it is us. Let me tell you something for free. All of you, eh, Nigeria has 210 million people. Ijoti rapture, bad day. Don't you know you know the story they told us of rapture? That aeroplane will be flying, pilot will just be raptured, the aeroplane can't go crash. Okay, people just they drive for express. We all they see cars, drive trailer, they drive. They, they told us the different things. They, that they rapture the trailer driver. Let me tell you, don't worry, Nigeria, no such problem will happen. Emakwe, una complete. How <laughs> na go take no say rapture happen? I go reach house on CNN and go here say rapture happen for Trinidad and Tobago. Some people go. Rapture happen for China. Some people go. Actually, una Nigeria, una go go church for Sunday after rapture. Your pastor go day, in wife go day, all in Peking go day, choir master go day, choir mistress go day, full choir go day, usher go day, gate man go day. Don't Everybody go Nigeria fool. Everybody go <laughs> fool. Pre rapture Someone and said, post rapture. Nobody go miss for this Nigeria. You are not going anywhere. Jesus is the only way. Do you obey? Do you obey the Christ <laughs> after rapture? Someone said Nigerians will inherit the earth. After, after rapture, now us go remain. We will carry over the whole earth alone. It be up. So, 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 you see, the problem starts. Somebody said, I saw a Muslim miracle. Yes, I actually saw a Muslim miracle in my life. It's the only time I've ever seen a miracle. And I'm going to describe this. There was a woman, in. she went into labor. She was walking by the side of my house. She went into labor. There was a hospital in my house, but the head of the Peking done the commot. Mm. So the woman was by the wall of my house. So me, I went to meet them. I was offering that should I bring my ambulance? They said it's too late. That may they just try, may she just burn the Peking for the road there where she did. Wow. So me, I can't climb fence. They were at the bottom of the fence. And as, and as I watch, take watch out, they take bond like this. I did on top of the fence. Hey, make I go. I say, go where? Say, I now my house with this. Um, I stop on gone. My sister was at the balcony, but because let's say the balcony is here, the fence is here, she can see that there's people behind the fence, but she cannot see exactly what's going on. 
Balcony is up here. You understand? Me, I was on the fence like this, looking. I see as the woman open her leg. I see as the bikini come out. Everything I see, I'm like this. I don't go anywhere. I don't agree anybody chance me. My partner, doctor. I don't ask and say, I want to see a person they born. They tell me, I shut up. I say, okay. I don't see free one now. I go watch them. That time, YouTube, no day. Woman come born this bikini, finish. Placenta, no agree, come out. My star was there. Placenta, no agree, come out. It got to a stage. They were pumping palm oil into the woman's mouth and using orogun. Orogun, I don't know what That's where they take the Amala. Amorogun. To force palm oil down her throat so that the placenta go come up. Placenta no agree, come up. The woman done the weak. Now, so they run, go call one mosque, they corner of my house. They, now, so they go call the afar, come. The afar trouser, you know, rich ground like this. Now, so the afar come. This thing nobody said they tell me I did there, I see him. The affair just come. I swear to God, the affair no use 10 seconds. He just come, just collect blankets, just cover himself with the woman like that. He recites the K. This K way he recites, you know, it's five. He just get up, give the woman back the blan blanket, come they go. As they go, they look back, they laugh. People can say, ah, affair, I say, if you want any, ah, 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 ah. Say, see the affair where you go call, affair, don't leave us. Affair never walk out 30 steps, the placenta come out. Placenta where you don't that, be on top for one hour. Afar don't use you put 10 the seconds, afar that placenta you, come out. Yeah. Afar put the afar and do yes today. You see how Nigerians will we'll go like, and follow the guy. Yeah. But you see, That's here's the thing, yeah. Whether he has because, the power or not. Because, because you don't know. Stay away from miracles. They are poisonous. 90% of people who ended up in religious slavery started with miracle. Uh -huh. Just, when I'm watching the, 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 all of you shouting miracles are real. That's why church take hold you for work. Forget mm -hmm. nonsense testimony way that they talk. Me, I can tell when a pastor has no power, and I can tell when a pastor has demonic power just by listening to him for ten seconds. I go tell you, say this one a thief, this one a Yahoo, this one a fraud, this one a magician. So forget about miracles. Stop going to churches that give testimonies and start going to churches that impact the lives of the people. Hmm yes yes start mm. at the, because you see that the antichrist well, cannot but, but take but Joshua was impacting lives too, that, that is why i say i prefer tb joshua to 90 percent in fact 99 percent of the remaining ones baba con tony he said baba gone jade publicly baby i'm offending you 50. was that that question eh? oh yeah but, but the, the, truth that, is the truth like what that the is saying is the truth if if they give us you know, a sneak peek into the private lives of some of these people that we hold in high esteem as pastors. Mm -hmm. You'll be shocked. Like, <laughs> you'll be shocked at the yeah, thing. Pastor in Nigeria. The pastor in Nigeria, I won't mention his name. Somebody told me, someone close to him told me, a big pastor, one of the biggest, that he slaps his junior pastors easily during the meetings. I want to pastor, I'm not very bad by you. I want to very bad by you. You're bad, you you. One of the biggest men of God in Nigeria say during meetings, na slap, magic, clap, and daddy man, and not talk, slap somebody's daddy, and you start cursing them like, oh lord, you cook, whatever. And on Sunday, they will speak in tongues. They will speak in tongues. If there's one thing, if there's one thing we can take away from all of this, if there's one thing I can tell you for free, ninety-nine percent of speaking in tongues in Nigeria is fake. Fake. I don't carry person. I don't carry person. You see all these things. I don't carry person speaking tongues even now. Oh, oh, oh! That's why I'm laughing. But that if he's that if he's actually even timed it. <laughs> and the guy was, was doing very painful. And then he said he wants to sue. Oh my god. That was very painful. Yeah, <laughs> so please, there's this true life story. Though. There's this true life story that happened in Lagos. I'll tell everybody here. There's this big church, very big church. I don't go mention it. Big, 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 big church. They have uh they had a um, what's it called? Um uh a kind of a international uh hotel or 
the guest house in a very, very big place in Lagos. I won't mention the area. Oh, this is the area where I grew up. Who that know me? I know the story. Who would have known me? They know the story. So this place, eh, this church bought it from this guy who built it. They had swimming pool. They had everything. We used to go and swim there. Suddenly we went there. They said, ah, we can't swim more. They've converted the place to church. Uh, uh, Baptism ground. Yeah, whatever ground, though. Uh, they talk, turn the place to uh, international guest house for the church. So foreign pastors from Ghana, from everywhere would come. That's where they would lodge. They would come with their wives. Suddenly we just heard that the pastor of the church wanted to sell the place. We said, why? And the manager of the place told me that they had big drama, that all those pastors from foreign places, they used to bring girlfriends and say, this is Mrs. Lagbaja. That's my pastor, Mrs. And all of them will come and bring girlfriends, pastors, into the guest room. When my dad started reporting that I didn't go with the with my pastor husband, though, mm -hmm. the investigation and realized that almost 70% of the pastors were, they came, they were coming girlfriend. with their clone wife. Clone <laughs> to the place. That's how pastor can sue the whole place so and sold that place out. And the place is a big hotel now. People that know you, you do if you know, you know. Pastors. So what I'm just trying to say is another thing I'd like to say at this point, if you look at the statistics of those people that were affected by this incident, yeah. they are young people and they are you, women. You, you, you know what happened, yeah? Young people you afraid. know what's going on? I need to do my homework with my baby boy. You don't they hear they disturb me since. So I'm gonna come back in the middle of the night to continue this conversation. This conversation yeah, you don't, will be long. You don't, this conversation don't worry, long. don't worry, Daddy. Freeze if you don't do it, it will pass. Miracle, miracle. Yeah, I will pass. Ah, God, God bless you, pray. God bless yeah. you. See, let us start by building love yeah, with one another. This miracle yes. way we don't define. <laughs> eh? This prayer way we, we don't pray. If you set your heart, you're gonna say no get results. Mm. Even if you get results, results are few and far between. Mm. Because when a man buys a Tokumbo car of uh, Tokumbo Corolla of 2003 and gives praise to God, you've forgotten that it's another Japanese man who created Toyota and he does not mm. worship your God. The things you give testimony to your God for, people get them for free. People who don't worship your God or people worship what you consider lesser gods, get them for free. So if you were to do a result competition, because you have placed your God on such a low pedestal that it is miracle you are looking to him for, the people that are really seeing miracles, oh. the AI people, the people who live in a world that is moving at the rate at which Nigerians are getting dizzy just reading about this world, mm. it will make their God look superior to yours. The mm. only way you can show that your God is bigger than their God, I have a very mm. big God, though, always by my side. A very big God do by my side, by my side. The only way you can show that you have a very big God is by showing love. Yes. By being a human being. That's why I love miracle. pastors if that are miracle, that, that mm, pastors that where that those people don't reach. Life. Where those people don't reach. Una nothing near the gates. Thank mm. you, everyone. God bless. Thank you, Daddy Please. Yes, for having Baba. Daddy Ify, Free, my sir. lovely sister. Bye. And yeah, Daddy uh, Free. Yeah. Ronnie B. Send me a DM so I can follow you right back. Thank you so much, right, everyone on TikTok. Okay, Facebook. TikTok, you can buy my super chat, super stickers. Oh, yeah, we are come by. See you all later. Take care and God Bye. bless. Bye.